How's it going everyone? This is Shack Attack again. Second video for Saltwater World. Just kind of showing you everything. This is uh, about how much I got the tank for, where I got the live rock from, where I got the sand from, uh, and uh, corals, fish, and all the other wonderful stuff. First off with the tank, I got it from a friend of mine. Uh, I got the tank and the stand, you can see it kind of there. And a sump, not the sump that I currently have in there, uh, for $150. It was an awesome deal. It's a, it's called a 40 gallon breeder. I think it's the perfect size just to start with. Uh, they say uh, the bigger the better. The smaller tanks more work because you have to do more water changes. You have to do uh, more maintenance to them. Um, I've heard if you do like have a problem or there's something not going right in the tank, it's better to do a water change. Obviously, uh, some people say uh, 10 gallon water change. So you take out the salt water, put in new salt water. Um, when, you, when you top it off, you actually just kind of do a fresh water top off. New salt water again, because if you think about it, when it evaporates, uh, the, salt the salt is still there. You just have to top it off with more fresh water to kind of balance it out uh, and you want RODI water you can't just use right out of the tap because then you'll have all this like red almost algae growing in your tank you can kind of the tank might crash I used to have a little five gallon tank and uh, that was a lot of work I had to keep up on it and I couldn't keep up on it because uh, my local pet store wasn't just down the road for me and at the time I was working full time, I was trying to make it work and I uh, spent a lot of money and it crashed actually with me. So live and learn, I went uh, and did a lot of research this time and did a lot of work on it. So back to my tank, I have live sand in there, I have live rock in there, live coral obviously as you can tell. I got the live sand from a local pet store and I also got reef crystals for the salt water. To start with for almost I think it was uh, about $80 at the time so I did that I put the salt water in make sure the salinity was to the T and then put the live sand in there and almost about for a month it was just sat there with just water and sand in it I didn't really do much because I was kind of limited to where I can get stuff I was trying to figure things out I just was gonna order everything on the internet and then I found this uh, guy locally in my area that sells everything and he knows his stuff really well so he kind of helped me with it I bought the live rock from him so after I put the rock in there I started off with a damsel I had him for a few weeks just to kind of get the ammonia in there get the tank cycling a little bit ended up getting that royal grandma he was in there by himself for almost a good month and then right after I had him for a month, I got a cleanup crew, which is uh, blue-legged uh, crabs, uh, snails, and so, actually lots of different snails. And then I gave that almost a month by himself with all that, with the cleanup crew. Once I got the cleanup crew and that everything cycled, there was a frag show, which is a coral show, that was coming up, and I really wanted to go to that the guy that I bought the stuff from is like you know I don't think you're ready for that but you know you can take your chance that's the way you're gonna learn so I took my chance and I started off with uh, the hammer coral the brain coral the trumpet coral and I think the moon star coral and that's all I started with oh and the green lip toe. and uh, they did really really good honestly uh, they're to me they seem like they're getting bigger and growing the whole thing is like one big ecosystem in your living room or kitchen or basement or wherever else you want to put your tank at uh, but it's awesome once you got everything in there it's the whole thing is alive from your rock to your coral to your sand uh, some of the snails go right underneath. Uh, they go right underneath your sand bed. Uh, there's lots of little tiny bugs everywhere, which are called copa copods, some type of pod. Think of anything else I need to talk about. You know, let me know. 
still learning this and trying to understand it more and kind of teach you a little bit what I did and what I, sh you know, learned not to do. Uh, anyways, yeah. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.